Welcome to the weekly RFOX update everyone. Phil Cahill is joining to update us on RFOX games and if you're new to RFOX this will give you an idea about where RFOX games fits into RFOX's immersive Web3 ecosystem and toolkit for creators. How are you Phil? Good, glad to be back on the AMA. We've been pretty busy in the offices getting ready to uh, launch a new product. All right, good to hear. Let's get started. For those new to RFOX Games, can you give us an intro to where it all started with COGS? COGS is RFOX's first NFT product, and it's a digital reinvention of what used to be known as milk caps and popularized in the late 80s under the brand POGS. Some countries might know it as Tazos. And these were just cardboard discs with pictures on them that kids could collect and play with. COGS really started out as a collectible art NFT. And you, there's different ways to collect this. You can collect it just based on the art that you like, or you can collect based on the borders and colors and collect these into sets or what we call tubes. Uh, and those tubes, those collected sets have a different utility. It could either be staking rewards or have utility in a game or have some kind of access in the metaverse. But COGS really stands for keys to other games. So it's also an interoperable game piece. And we wanted to like really prove that idea using our portfolio of games. Our first game, COGS showed up as you would have seen in a schoolyard. You stack them up with your opponents, strike it with what we call slammers or a heavier cog, um, and whatever flips over, you get. In the next title, Cog's Quest, that same cog will show up as a character or give your in-game character XP bonuses. In future titles, that could manifest in, in different ways. It could be a card, it could be a miniature. Uh, who knows, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, and COGS Quest is a new game in production. How do you play Quest and how does play to earn work in Quest? COGS Quest is our second title in the RFOX Games portfolio. It's a match three puzzle game where you lead a team of space pirates, the Cosmic Corsairs from third edition, and you adventure to different planets, battle monsters, and pick up loot along the way. And that loot could be in-game consumables, or it could be COG NFTs that are exclusive to the game, or it could even be NFTs that we have yet to announce that will be relevant to other parts of the RFOX ecosystem. And all these reward NFTs are tradable on any WAX-supported marketplace. So we're really moving away from the what, what's traditionally known as play-to-earn and moving more to a plate to own model. It'll be really up to the user how they liquidate their NFT asset. Now on to partners. How can brands utilize RFOX games and can you tell us about some of the IP partnerships we've had with COGS? So we have worked with a few partners to release special editions of COGS. We've worked with Bad Days, which is a Webtoon Stanley property. We've worked with IAPF, the International Anti-Poaching Foundation, and then most recently with CPAC, the CryptoPop Art Guild, which is a, an advocacy group for underprivileged uh, artists in the Philippines. A brand partnership with RFOX Games uh, really gives the IP owner, actually it gives their fans or users or customers uh, a new way to interact with their brand. It's also a, a very easy way for traditional brands to enter the NFT space. And then we can work with the with that partner to come up with some kind of interesting utility outside of our games. So for example, if we were to work with a band by obtaining one of these special cogs, you could, for example, have a meetup with the artist in the metaverse. All right, and COGS Mint Lab. We should mention the Mint Lab, which is actually part of RFOX NFTs, but mentioning it here because it's relevance to COGS. Now, Mint Lab gives utility to NFT holders, giving them the ability to mint their NFT onto COGS and then sell those COGS on the marketplace, or they can use them to play COGS Slam. We saw several Board 8 Yacht Club NFT holders take this opportunity up, and for more info, we'll leave a link in comments. Now, Phil, for the roadmap, 
Can you tell us about any plans for COGS and Quest and what else is coming up? So the short term roadmap for Quest will be to introduce new types of NFT rewards um, and then of course add new characters or add old characters from legacy editions of COGS and then introduce new game mechanics, new maps, new monsters. Okay, the RFOX ecosystem is about to really transform. What are the opportunities for RFOX games as the vault goes public and also RFOX NFTs is about to launch as well? So we're really excited for the vault to launch because it, it gives another layer of utility for the NFT rewards that are coming from our games. In the roadmap for Quest, we will be introducing vault wearables uh, and items that you can use to customize your vault avatars. And then for cog tubes and special cogs, or what we call thirds, we'll have access utility. Um, so this could be free access to events or areas within the metaverse. Uh, actually, I can't wait until vault launches. All right, that's it for the RFOX Games update. Thanks a lot for joining, Phil. Thanks, Lenny. It was good talking to you. I'm sure I'll see the rest of you guys on Discord. Uh, let's do this again. For more info on COGS, you can go to cogs.gg. Have a great week, everyone.